Hey guys, what up? So this video is brought to you by Dev Mountain Coding Bootcamp. If you guys are interested in going to a coding bootcamp, make sure you give them a look. The link is in the description tab below. They're focusing on all the latest web development technologies so that you can get your foot in the door as quickly as possible. Hey guys, what's up? So in this video, I'm, I'm looking at the differences between a network engineer and a software developer and whether or not uh, one is a more lucrative position over another and whether or not one is like actually an easier job and also which one is just simply better. So what is network engineering? I mean, if you look at the term, it's actually a very broad term, just like computer programmer. Computer programmer could mean anything from game programming to mobile development to like writing hardcore backend C++ code for like a Photoshop type application. You, like clearly there is like levels of complexity um, and, and the term varies, you know, greatly. Uh, same thing with, with network engineering. So networking engineers, I mean, their job is for implementing, maintaining, supporting, developing. I mean, they have to build communication systems and networks within companies. So the demand for their type of jobs are going to be within large organizations that have a, a lot of intercommunication that needs to occur. So despite what you may have heard about network engineers, they're not cable jockeys. They're not dudes with neck beards that just deal with like cables and wiring and, and routers and switches all day well they sort of are but not not really but when i say slightly harder i mean just slightly because the, the actual salary difference uh, the typical software engineer is making about ninety five thousand uh, ninety five thousand dollars a year in the united states um and the software uh, or the network engineer is making roughly about ninety thousand so you're, you're dealing with like a, a very small difference there both fields are similar um, based on the fact that like they both require computer science degrees or some sort of STEM degree typically to get your foot in the door in the industry. Um, so both of those careers don't really differ. So in either one, you're, you're kind of forced to go down one path or another. And like the, the difference and the reason why I think programming wins when it comes to education and things like that, like network engineering is all about certifications. Like you have things like these, uh, the, the Cisco certification uh, that is all about you know, the, the latest skills and dealing with routers and switches and things like that. And Cisco kind of writes the book on this stuff. But, um, you know, that's what you're kind of dealing with as, as a network engineer. You constantly have these certs and everything. Um, and, and programming, there is also certifications. You can get like AWS certifications um, and things like that. But, but in, in a lot of cases, it's just about what you know. Can you prove that you can write some ES6 JavaScript? Do you know what Babel and Webpack is? Can you actually use it? Can you write React code or do you know what data attributes are in HTML and JavaScript and CSS and all? You know, like if you know that stuff, like you can get a job, software development. It, it does change quite a bit, but I would say that the the actual changing um, doesn't really necessarily like it doesn't seem to require that you get like some sort of new certification and have to kind of relearn everything um, all over again. Now, the JavaScript community is obviously a different story there. So when we look at jobs, let's look at the United States. That's typically what this is. And this is also a programming channel, by the way. Um, but let's see. So if we like search for uh, network engineer, you have about 60,000 jobs. Um, if we say software, we'll say software engineer. That's what most people call it. Um, 233,000. So clearly, like the, there, there is way more programming jobs, which means that there's way more demand there. Uh, so once again, when it comes to actual job perspective, not only do you make more, there's also a lot more opportunity. So where there used to be manual routers and switches and things like that, that, that occurred in network engineering jobs, a lot of that is actually being moved over to a more of an automated process. And they're using things like Python programming to actually do it. Um, so I think honestly, like, you know, obviously my recommendation is that you become a programmer and not a network engineer. But like, I think that um, even if you are a network engineer, I think you better learn some programming, at least some basic Python you know, stuff. I mean, look at my videos or yeah, definitely check out my videos. So which one is the more fun job? Like that's going to be a, a tough question to answer. So the, the question is, what type of person are you? Are you looking for less of a challenge? Because if you're looking for less of a challenge and you're going to want to go the network engineering route, because typ it's typically it's less less difficult than a software developer. Now, I'm not trying to bust on all network engineers and, and, those, and those guys, but like software development, the, the developers are getting paid more money um, for a reason. So like th th there is a, there is a reason for that. Um, both are very high pressure in the sense that like you fuck something up, like you could end up losing your job very, very quickly because like small mistakes can cause millions of dollars, like very quickly, sometimes within minutes. 
So when it comes to getting down and dirty, like, I mean, you know, like network engineers, they got Cisco Live, which is a, a hop and joint from what I understand, never been. Um, but like network engineers, obviously getting down, getting dirty. Uh, but programmers do the same. So like I've never, I've, I've been to, you know, after hours work events and stuff like that as a software developer where there's been kegs and there's been happy hours and, and things like that. So it's, th there's definitely that on both sides of the equation. So if that is something that you're interested in, that that is, uh, something that is available to you, I, I would think, uh, more probably on the programming side, I think programming probably wins there too. It's not uncommon to see kegs uh, or beer in the office. So this is a programming channel, and obviously I'm going to recommend programming. If you're just getting started, check out my videos. Um, but even besides that whole self-promotion nonsense, like, I mean, you're better off being a programmer. You really are. There's just going to be more opportunities. So uh, that's my opinion. Thank you. Bye.